Scanning. 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 Accessing pre-war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion. Ahoy there. Tis Providence a member of the Congressional Army is delivered to us in our hour of need. What? Why are you talking like that? Uh, like what, sir? The captain requests your presence on the bridge. At the double quick, sir. Speed zero knots. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scanned two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. First mate, Congressional Army? Wh why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Are you crazy? Do you even know what year it is? Do not mistake my genteel manner for derangement, sir. I am fully aware that it is the year of our Lord, 2287. Why are you even here, on this ship? It's ancient. This vessel has more than once been the seat of our great nation's naval power. Is it not fitting she don this mantle again? And you're in charge here? What? As ordained by the chain of command, the links of which start with our most august admirals and plummet to the lowliest of sentry bots. After all our brothers in arms perished, I reluctantly assumed command. You didn't explain why you're talking like that. Look around you. In these times of great unrest, is it not prudent to adopt the manner of a more civilized time? If that answer is not to your satisfaction, I'm afraid you must make your peace with it. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. Be calm these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan! I spit at you. How did it even get up here? A harrowing tale of that there can be no doubt. Or I should say, I assume it is. I came upon her as she is, atop the Sargasso Sea of rubble and misfortune. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but Morats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries! The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. What war effort? Against Communist China, of course. But if any Redcoats or Canadians sail nearby, I will give them a good thrashing, to be sure. To avenge the burning of our nation's capital would be a sweet victory indeed. Consult with the Bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. A few warning shots usually suffice to scare them. I know. The cannons are fire at will.
Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! Do you often just interject, as you put it? Indeed I do. I exclaim from exuberance, and not because I've been reprogrammed five times to wholeheartedly embrace these marvelous turns of phrase and anachronisms. My metal heart burns with a fierce love and affection for our captain. Huzzah! Why were you reprogrammed? Was the captain involved? I will confide this only as a cautionary tale. The captain requires all crew to speak in the proper idiom. We are the inheritors of a sacred tradition. There was a time I thought he was, well, balmy. With my new programming, I see his incalculable wisdom. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, sir. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. I'll see what I can do about your cables. I'll feel my anxiety emulators lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. Defending the Constitution. Bosun. How? Courses through the Constitution's veins! Again! Her systems, long starved, flick out to life! <laughs> A hearty congratulation! Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Can't you fix anything yourself? Your criticism squarely hits the mark, sir. I fear the butcher's bill is many a fine, Mr. Handy, on its list. I entreat you to aid us once more. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas. Hey, Bosun. Power flows far and 
steady. I would applaud you. But alas, I cannot, due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir, huzzah! So no more problems with the power? Area one. It flows like a veritable torrent through our cables. If I may say so, the surgeon would be proud. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttle buddies, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. Ahoy, soldier! Scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. Why did the scavengers attack? Scavengers have attacked ship 17 times. Destroyed 13% of ship's systems. Stole 5% of ship's store. Logic error. Captain's orders authorize scavenger termination only if necessary to preserve the ship. Glad that's over. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. I just need to know where the chip is. Chip is with the thieves. Human scavengers. Reclaim chip at scavengers forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. Zero knots. Well. Hey, Navigator. Ahoy! Ahoy, soldier! Chip recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is not functional. Requires replacement. Tell me more. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Hey, Navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Guidance system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, sir. You've been of service to our noble vessel. Despite ample provocation, I had hoped the guidance ship could be recovered without violence to the scavengers. Even now, they plot their retaliation. Why did you want me to spare the scavengers? I confess they are a blight upon my existence. Those scallywags killed many of my marines. We're down to a skeleton crew due to that filth. But they are citizens of the Commonwealth. Citizens we're pledged to protect against foreign incursion. Which is not without its irony. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. So, now can you tell me what's going on? Complete this task, and I will gladly relate our mission. Until then, silence, vigilance. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed.
Trim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing at long last we'll set sail. And our hero of the hour is to thank. You've earned a double share, sir. Well done. Set sail? On the eve of our voyage, the need for secrecy is long past. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and loan. The Constitution will launch into the heavens and after, gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. That's quite a plan. A thing of brilliance, is it not? Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless curs! Prepare to broadside! Defend the Constitution until our last breath. Who goes there? Identify yourself. Foul traitor, you hide in vain! Hold up a sec. Brace for its cargo hold. Enemies approach.
Shoot them all! Tell me when you decide to fight back. Another shot. Still going through with this? Given time, the scavengers will regroup. It may be now or never. We need power from the auxiliary generator to commence our voyage. I fear I must call upon you one last time. Consider it done. I admire your pluck. Here is your amply deserved reward. Godspeed to you, sir. <laughs> Two points to starboard. 